the toilet should flush. You have a small jet engine. If it's not doing that, what we do is we shut it off. We flush it to release anything in it. It's just not going to flush till I just did it, but make sure you flush it. Now take off the cover on the back tank. We flushed it, we've shut off the water. We take off this little cap. It's just fairly gently on there, it's not very tight. And you can see there's a little rubber duct bill valve in there. Usually, that comes off in the cap and it'll look like that. So, take off the cap. We've shut off the water, we've flushed it. We've taken off the cap and we lift up on that. If there's any water in this pressure tank, you'll hear it chug out. I don't hear any now, but you would hear it go bloop, 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 bloop. You do that, then you put the, if the duct bill valve came out, you put that in by itself. If it's still in the cap, you could just put the cap on gently. Thread the cap back on. Just barely snug it up, finger tight, nothing snug, nothing too tight. And then turn the water back on. Just turn it back on. If you can put the cover on, you can hear it running. It'll run for, oh, as much as 30 seconds the first time. When we hear it stop running, it'll actually make a little click. And then it's ready to flush again and should flush like a jet engine again.